How's it going guys? In this episode, I'm going to finish taking apart the rest of this motor. Again, it's the original M50 for my car and I'm pretty excited. As you guys can see, the pistons are already out, all the connecting rods have been disassembled, and the oil pan is off. What's left to do on the motor is this rear steel right here and then the entire uh, fastening assembly here, as well as the front timing cover. Take off the water pump. I already cracked this loose and I'll explain how I loosened that. So to take apart the timing case cover, it's going to be the 10 millimeter bolts on the side over here, all the way around. So I have to remove the water pump first in order to get access to this uh, harmonic balancer unit that originally also contains the AC belt and then basically this whole unit should just pop right off. Then that will get me access to the inside where you will see all the timing chain um, guide rails and everything like that and then that should come off fairly easily. And then afterwards I'm going to be able to take off the main bearing caps right here and then remove the crankshaft. So the best way to take apart this bolt right here is that I actually cut some small pieces of wood to lock the crankshaft in rotation there and there. And then basically I'm just going to take the impact gun with the 22 millimeter socket on it and just hammer it away. So granted this bolt was already loose. Um, I just put it on uh, back in just to show you guys that I could take it out with this electric Craftsman impact wrench. Alternatively, I was ready to use this half inch breaker bar with an extension from my uh, quick pump jack. And then basically, if I were to do this method um, with the long extension, definitely have someone, oops, definitely have someone else stand right there to prevent the entire stand from counter rotating as you're trying to loosen this bolt out. So if you guys don't have an impact gun, you can use a lock tool to remove um, the fan in order to keep these bolts in place as you crack them loose so it doesn't rotate the uh, water pump. So in order to remove the water pump, you gotta actually undo these four nuts right here and the unit should just pull right out. I'm gonna put these back so I don't so I remember where these go. So I'm having a little trouble getting the water pump off. So to compensate for that, there's a threaded hole on the water pump so that if I were to thread a longer bolt from like the oil pan, for example, this will actually push on the inner side and then slowly walk the uh, actual pump off of the uh, timing case cover. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going a thread at a time. And you, as you can see, it is walking the pump away from the timing case. So it's stuck because there's a lot of old coolants in here and gasket maker and you guys will see in a second how gross this is. Alrighty, it's dripping just a little bit. So all this corrosion right here was the reason why I had such a hard time pulling the pump off. But as you can see, the threads that are poking out there actually helped push the water pump off of the front timing case cover. So I'm not really too worried about timing, mainly because there's a little key section right there that will line up to the actual crankshaft, so it will maintain the timing once you put it back on. So I got the front timing case off. I was just stuck on a little dowel right here, but I just pretty much just heated up with a little bit of map gas and the whole front case just pulled right off. And as you can see, here's the uh, primary chain for the actual exhaust valve. And then the secondary chain on the Vanos actually goes right there approximately. And then you can also see here's that oil pump sprocket and it's just dangling there. But right now, before I actually take apart any of the actual guide rails or anything like that, I'm just gonna quickly mark the chain so I marked with a sharpie right where this little dowel pin will fit on the actual sprocket itself and then it will line up to that little circle. So it seems like I didn't even actually have to mark it on here because I could pull the entire assembly off. So on the top here there's a little clip that I found. You just have to push upwards on it and it releases it from the top portion there. Okay, it should just come off. 
piece. All right, so this entire assembly just came off in one piece. So I'm pretty happy about that because now I can lay it down and then actually mark it better or actually uh, store it in a way that I won't actually lose this timing chain orientation. So there's a little tab that you actually have to release right here in order to pull this piece right off. I can't take the crankshaft off until I remove this back plating right here that contains the rear main seal. And it's just a couple bolts right here that I just need to remove. I'm hoping that I can take these off without having to worry about hitting the back of the engine stand right here so I could just slip it off completely. But it's not the end of the world as long as I can get the bolts out because then after this is loose, I can also take apart the rear remaining caps and then just pull the entire crankshaft out. So it looks like this is still stuck. There's not enough clearance for me to pull this entire bracket off for the rear main seal, but I'm gonna proceed and take off the, um, the main bearing caps for the actual crankshaft and then remove the crankshaft and hopefully this should just all come out in one piece. Alright guys, crankshaft is coming out. Whew, that was heavy! So I'm also removing these bearings as well, um, just to kind of like look at the condition that they're in. All right, so as you can see, the crankshaft bearing caps are all out with the bearings itself. The crankshaft, which was surprisingly heavy, never carried one of these before, but also out. Bear block. Looks pretty awesome in my opinion. All right guys, so I'm very excited to have finished taking apart this M50 motor. I don't know yet exactly what parts I'm gonna get to put back in, but I know that I'm probably gonna be replacing almost every single part inside this motor. Uh, I will not disclose exactly my plans for this motor just yet. I'm probably going to save that for another video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this final disassembly procedure for my M50 motor. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one guys. Bye bye.